Hello! In today's video I'm going to be looking at the performance of the Dell G5 SE5505 with the latest BIOS version 1.7.0 installed and comparing that to the performance of this laptop with the previous latest BIOS version 1.5.0 installed. If you would like to see how all of the BIOS versions compare to one another, I did a video on just that, but unfortunately it was before 1.7.0 was released. But if you want to go and see that, I'll stick a card on the video here. Unfortunately, I can't use the figures from my previous video to directly compare all BIOS versions to the new one because I foolishly didn't make a note of what graphics driver version I had installed at the time. So, I can't rule this out as another variable. Also, it's likely that some, if not all of the games have had other updates since then too. However, I have made sure to make a note of the driver version that I've installed this time so that I can rule out this variable in future tests. For these tests therefore I was running the graphics driver 21.6.1. So why is this test so interesting? Well, according to numerous Reddit posts, BIOS version 1.7.0 has a significant detrimental impact on the performance of this laptop, with the Ryzen 7 being more impacted than the Ryzen 5. My laptop has the Ryzen 5 4600H, so if the results today show that there is a detrimental difference, it should be less so than if I had the Ryzen 7. Other than the CPU, the specs of my laptop are 32GB of DDR4 memory at 3200MHz and an AMD RX 5600M GPU. Also reported by some Reddit posts is that once the BIOS has been updated to 1.7.0, you permanently lose some performance even if you roll back the BIOS version to one of the previous versions. But it's still better than having 1.7.0 installed. But the message is clear. If you haven't already installed BIOS version 1.7.0, don't do it. Kicking off with the tests now, starting it off with GTA 5 on the default graphics settings, we can see that the Dell G5 SE achieved an average frame rate of 87 on the older BIOS version 1.5.0, and the average dropped by nearly 20 FPS with the latest BIOS version 1.7.0. This represents a significant reduction in average FPS of 22.7%. The 1% lows also suffered with the latest BIOS, achieving just shy of 43, compared to the older BIOS's 63, representing a drop of nearly one third. So, bot off to a great start then with the latest BIOS version. Let's see if the trend continues in the next game, Red Dead Redemption 2. This game was played on the Favor quality preset, so quite good settings. This time there was less of a significant drop in average FPS when going from older BIOS versions to the newer BIOS version, but there was still a drop nonetheless. Version 1.5.0 achieved just over 49.5 FPS on average, and version 1.7.0 achieved about 7.5% less than this at 45.9 FPS on average. The 1% low results weren't as forgiving though, being 25.7% lower with the latest BIOS version when compared to 1.5.0. That is 25.4 FPS versus 34.2 FPS on the latest and older BIOS versions respectively. It's definitely starting to look like the Reddit posts were correct. Up next is CSGO on the default settings and continuing the trend by losing nearly 17% on the average FPS with the latest BIOS dropping from 169.8 with 1.5.0 to 141.3 with 1.7.0. The 1% lows were 91 with the BIOS version 1.5.0 and 71.1 with BIOS version 1.7.0 a drop of 21.9%. And the final nail in the coffin as far as gaming is concerned for 1.7.0 is Rocket League. During this test, Rocket League actually saw the least loss on the average FPS, but the highest loss on the 1% low figure of 4.7% and 34.8% respectively. That is to say that the average frame rate dropped from 161.5 FPS with BIOS version 1.5.0 to 153.9 with BIOS version 1.7.0, and the 1% lows dropped from 91.4 to 59.6. Putting games aside now for a moment, I decided to test the Cinebench scores that each of these BIOS versions could achieve. 
And BIOS version 1.5.0 achieved a Cinebench score of 7,362. And BIOS version 1.7.0 achieved a score 8.6% lower than this at 6,728. If these scores look a little bit low to you, that is because the ambient temperature of the room I was in while running these tests was a toasty 28.7 degrees C. And in fact, it was slightly cooler than this when running the test for 1.7.0 at 28.4 degrees C. So even with this slight advantage, 1.7.0 still came out behind. Of all the games tested, albeit I didn't test that many today because the pattern was clear, the writing was already on the wall, the average FPS was reduced on average by 12.7% and the 1% low was reduced by an average of 28.9%. This represents a significant drop in performance indeed. And BIOS version 1.5.0 isn't even the best performing BIOS for this laptop by any means, as demonstrated in my earlier video. So I recommend anybody with this laptop who's watching this and has 1.7.0 installed, roll your BIOS version back to 1.4.4 or 1.5.0, or if you've got a good cooling solution you could even go for 1.3.0. To learn how to do this without the laptop automatically updating the BIOS to the latest version, you can watch my previous video on just how to do this and I'll put a card in the video here for your convenience. And that's it for today's video. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it informative. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you didn't, please still leave a comment, let me know what you think I can improve and heck, still subscribe. Maybe you can see if I've taken your advice on board in the next video. Thanks again, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.